Sagittarius, hey y'all, welcome back to Southern Intuition. This is going to be a general love read for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of September. We are going to take a look into that person that you've got on your mind, uh, what they're doing, you know, what you like about them, how they really feel about you. Uh, the potential, the roadblocks, just you know, this new relationship or whatever it is, it might be a current relationship, Saggy, this is just what it is you need to know about this current situation you're dealing with. So I do believe everything connects eventually. And if it is your message to hear, you'll do so. And then please like, share, and subscribe, Sagittarius. Saggy, 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 show me. Show me what Saggy needs to know. Show me what Saggy needs to know for the month of October. Okay. Not sure. Coming in at the bottom of the deck here, what you may or may not be aware of is the Two of Swords. You think you don't know the answer here, but you do. The Two of Swords is inviting you to follow your heart, okay? You need to follow your heart here. I see that you've been doing a lot of healing, uh, definitely wounded after a situation, but still hopeful. Definitely still hopeful. You're looking at all sort of options, all, all sort of opportunities. And again, with that Two of Swords, you're a little bit not sure, but that's irrelevant. You are sure. You've healed. You've done the work, okay? You know what happiness is and where it resides. Choose. No? Choose. <clears throat> Your person right now. <laughs> Maybe they're the ones that needs to choose because they seem to not know what to do. Two of Pentacles. There's a choice here that needs to be made. Somebody is off balance. Oh, the devil. So what you like about them, and we've got to look at this devil in a light energy, and a good energy, because this is something you like about him. So I see a lot of lustful sexual energy here. But it's very difficult, okay? This, it's, it's a very... Um, how you feel about this person, Saggy, is, is difficult. You have a lot of desire for them, but they seem to be going through something pretty hectic, and so they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do about you, about their current state of affairs, anything. How they feel about you is the world. So they could feel like this is done. This cycle that they've been dealing with with you, maybe they want to finally make a choice here, or... I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not clarifying here. So the world is ending a situation and starting a new situation. How do you feel though? Damn. Ten of swords. Like it's done. So both of these energies here, you both are looking at this as it's done. It was just a sex-based connection maybe. Somebody didn't know what to do. There's another energy of, okay, let's just, you know, drop it. Let's just drop it. Um, the strength, though, lies within the Eight of Pentacles, so you have put a lot of effort into this, right? And since you've put a lot of effort into it, it could actually lead somewhere. Oh, but the problem could be there's another, there's another situation happening here. There is another relationship, so that's why this choice needs to be made. Oh, the potential, though. Oh, they coming in. 
They are coming in full steam ahead. Here they come. Here I come to save the day. So somebody is going to make a choice. The roadblock here is the high priestess, which is there is something that is unspoken between you both. And there might be a time of stillness. Um, there could be secrets here. There could be things that need to be expressed. And maybe that's what that Knight of Swords is coming in to do. Because a choice is needs to be made. The outcome for the month is the Six of Swords. So you are moving into calmer waters within this connection. Things will settle down. Uh, a choice has just got to be made. That's all there is to it. A choice has to be made. So that's what I have for you, Sajin. Good luck with that.